Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's Stephanie here. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for returning back to my channel. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe down below. Today I have another really interesting and informative video and it's a uni related video and it's a what not to bring to university video. I mean, everything's kind of up in the air and I know not everybody is going to university in person and moving into a dorm or moving into um, student accommodation, but for the people who are or for the people who will be maybe next year or the year after that when things will hopefully be completely cleared up, I thought I would make this video to give you kind of like a head start on things. This is a video about like what not to bring, but I will be putting a list of things that I think you should bring and are essential, just like an essential list. I will have a link to a full like checklist of things down below. So if you're like wanting to see a whole checklist of things that you want to check off yourself that you can even print off, that will be linked down below in the description box so yeah this is just me kind of telling you the things that you don't need or just kind of giving you tips on like what to bring when you're initially making the move to university so stay tuned and let's get into the video the first tip i will give is that if you're moving for instance from somewhere very far from home if you're moving countries like i did or if you're moving from like i don't know where it's far maybe from london to scotland or from scotland to london if you're moving a really far distance and you can you're able to buy stuff where you're moving to like if like the place where you're going to for university has like the same stores like good uni stores like wilco's primark whatever it is if that is an option that you have i would recommend number one not buying things before you go because chances are that you'll have lots of stuff to carry you might not have enough cars or if you're traveling overseas you might not have someone to travel with you and then it's like a lot of stuff you have to bring yourself and that can get expensive and that can get stressful and honestly you can save yourself the hassle by just like bringing your, the essentials that you need to bring from home and then just going and buying um most of your stuff while you're there you can save yourself the hassle of like the stress of traveling with so many things and just following the list i have linked down below just buy most of the stuff that you need when you get there as opposed to bringing it all with you the second tip i have is that you don't need to bring all your clothes at once and this is something that I wish I kind of knew because I brought all my clothes at once when I was moving to uni and I didn't even wear half the stuff I bought half because like they were just like older clothes and I didn't want to wear them and half because while I was at uni I was like you know first bit of freedom I was going doing online shopping so much with my Susie and like so I bought a lot of new clothes anyways so I didn't need to like bring all my clothes because also you'll probably not have enough space to store everything and you'll have to like struggle with very little space so I just recommend not bringing all your clothes because you can always like switch out clothes and stuff when you go home for breaks and that kind of thing so that's another really important tip I have. Sorry if the camera angle changed, I have to kill a fly. But yeah, number three, this kind of ties in with the other one about not bringing all your clothes, but don't bring all your stuff. Like you're not gonna need everything that you own at uni. Like if it's really important stuff that's really like sentimental and homely and will make you feel more at home and more um, happy when you go to university, then definitely bring that along, but you don't need to bring like excessive cds and knickknacks and stuff like that just bring the things that are going to make you feel comfortable and you feel at home and like that's the most important thing number four i would say don't buy like big appliances like kettles microwaves toasters that kind of thing until you move into your accommodation because you might have all those things there or you might want to split it with um, a housemate or something like that. If you guys get along, you can always end up moving it into like the place you guys move into next or whatever. But I would just recommend not being hasty into buying those things. Of course, when you get to university, you, you can buy them there. 
and you know if you want your own sometimes you're not comfortable sharing things with people i can understand that but if you're someone who doesn't mind you don't need to like bother investing into a toaster um a toaster a kettle a microwave all of these things because you'll probably be provided with it anyways you don't need to buy excessive like cutlery things like that you don't need to buy it if it's just you you just need like i mean most of cutlery comes in sets anyways but you don't need to buy like big bougie sets of like 10 plates and 300 bowls and 20 forks you just need to buy it you can even just buy like a fork and a spare a spoon and a spare a bowl and a spare a plate and a spare one for when you want to use it and then the other for when you have not bothered to wash dishes so yeah i would say don't buy excess like just i think the main thing about this whole video is to not be excessive in what you get don't bring too much stuff don't put too much stuff because you'll just get there's usually not that much space in student accommodations and uni living accommodations and you just don't want to be like crowded in your own space because also while you're at uni you'll probably buy stuff you'll probably get things and you don't want to just over pile yourself with lots of things so yeah just don't buy too many like utensils and stuff because you just don't need too much of anything while you're at uni number six what you shouldn't bring to uni probably is candles and stuff like that unless you're just going to use them for decorative purposes but from my experience most student accommodations and houses and stuff don't let you burn candles so just don't bring candles because you'll be wasting space in your bag and putting on extra weight for you and you'll probably not be able to use them properly so don't bring candles number seven don't bring anything that is going to be heavy or it's going to mark the wall or going to make put damage on the wall because you'll have to pay fees and that's just not going to be fun so yeah just don't bring anything that can damage anything in your room don't bring a rice cooker because that could set off the fire alarm because when i was in first year somebody did like was making rice in their room for whatever reason and um set off a fire alarm and everyone had to evacuate their houses at like one o'clock so yeah just don't break things that are going to cause trouble cause damage get you in trouble just be responsible with what you bring that's just the ma another main point just be responsible with what you bring be smart with what you bring just bring the essentials i would recommend just bringing the essentials even if you're not traveling from a very far place to get to university i'd still say just bring the essentials because you can always buy stuff while you're at uni and if worse comes to worst you can always buy from amazon and get it shipped to your uni room so honestly just don't just when you're going to uni make the journey as easy and as light as possible for yourself by just packing light packing essentials packing smart and that's it if you want to know what to buy while you're at uni like i said i do have a list down below that is linked and the link will lead you to like a whole list that you can check off print out and check off of things you can buy for your uni room for kitchens for living rooms possibly for bedrooms you know just a list of essentials and yeah okay so guys that was it for the video i know it was a bit of a short one this time but i just wanted to be kind of to the point and it was more giving you tips on what not to bring and tips on how to just pack to uni smarter i think just not sure what i'm going to title this video but it was kind of more of that vein so if you enjoyed please remember to give me a like subscribe down below for more content because i'm planning to post very very frequently since like i have a bit of free time now so i'm planning to po post as frequently as i can so do be sure to subscribe down below and if you have any content uni related or elsewise that you want to see from me please comment that down below as well follow me on social media especially my instagram um on snapchat on twitter um feel free to dm me at any time with questions with um requests for videos and whatever it is and yeah that's all i have for you guys today thank you for watching and i hope you have a good day bye list of keep a neutral face oh, uh, i'm already tired of speaking <laughs> i'm already tired of speaking to like 
that will be the yeah that's I know Ugh, let me start over guys I feel like a proper youtuber because I'm wearing like a cute ish top but I'm wearing pajama bottoms so I feel like one of those proper youtubers because they always say that they do that because I just really just wanted to film a video today so I'm feeling I'm filming it I'm filming editing and uploading this video on the same day because productivity guys guys trying to get thumbnails is like the most awkward thing ever I'm just out here like trying to get a thumbnail awkward yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this bloopers section because I do know this is a short video, but hey ho, we move, we grind, that's what we do.